TIFU. Accidentally taking the tip jar. Today I messed up by accidentally taking the tip jar from my local coffee shop. I decided to stop by the shop on my way to school to get some unfinished homework. I went to the bathroom, washed my hands, and then ordered my breakfast. I ordered a coffee and a yogurt parfait. I got the parfait instantly, and then two seconds later while I was fishing the money out of my wallet, the cashier set down an empty bowl-shaped cup next to the yogurt. I thought that it was for the yogurt but I was wrong. Thankfully I was lazy and did not use the cup. Once I was done I went back to the front to ask where I should discard of it since it was porcelain, or something I DK. And then the people making the coffees turned and were like, that's the tip bowl, I was never so embarrassed in my life. Anyways yeah that was terrifying. Too long did not read. I accidentally took the tip jar of a because I thought it was for my order. Maybe the most wholesome today I fucked up ever. Was it empty? Normally I would expect there to be at least a couple of dollars to give customers a hint. I'm sorry, but that is hilarious. I'm dead. Tears of joy. I used to work at Starbucks a while back, and there was one time where a man came through the drive through ordered a drink, and paid for it at the window. Then when he was about to drive away, he reaches out of his car window and snatches our drive through tip jar and says, this is for my church, and speeds off. It was one of the weirdest things to ever happen to me there. Tape, tips, dead. My grandma was at a garage sale and placed her items down on the table to pay them. I guess she placed them down on the wallet thing they were using to put all their money in and it got placed in her bag. She went home and had left all the items in her car. It was a small town and someone mentioned to her relative that their whole wallet from the garage sale had been stolen or lost and how upsetting it was. They mentioned it went missing after an older lady stopped to chat and buy items. Thank goodness my relative thought that sounded like my grandma and they found the wallet in her backseat still in the bag of clothes lol. She felt horrible and added an extra $20 to the wallet. All ended up being okay. Lol, nobody washes the tip jar. That's n a a a a a a a s d. Today I fucked up by joining a discord that wasn't what I thought. This has been bothering me and I need to vent. I have a wide array of interests when it comes to adult content. I was on a reddit group involving moms and sons. I am fully aware that it's not real, and that's the point. It's a dumb fantasy and I like sexy mature women. While on the group, I followed a link to a discord group that I believed would basically be a cougar, milf type group. When I joined the discord, every channel was locked, requiring registering on a website. It seems strange to me, like a possible scam, so I closed the window and went on my way without even accessing the group. The next day, I received a message saying I was locked out of Discord for three days because that Discord contained content involving minors. I was horrified and disgusted. I want nothing to do with Kitty P. N. and now even been that close to me is haunting me. Too long did not read. Joined a Discord that unknowingly turned out to contain Kitty P. N., leaving me horrified and disgusted. Building your alibi, nice. I feel like the way to avoid a ban would have been to report that server is suspicious. That sounds pretty odd. First why would you get banned without someone reporting you? Does Discord have a way to see what kind of stuff is involved with your account? Second if they do then it seems reasonable to assume they know what that server is for. Third what kind of server requires signing up on website to gain access to any server channels? Seems like it's a honeypot of sorts designed to trick certain people into giving up their info for doxing, blackmail or arrest. I would send the Discord server to the cybercrime division of your national police as well. Maybe it'll put them on track of some of the scum within your borders. It can't hurt anyway, worst that can happen is they don't find any. So you report the server or Juat gonna let that be out there? I think the term is, child sexual assault material. 